Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, plop into your headphones, snack on some pockies, sip on some Earl Grey, and enjoy this ASMR. Where are we, listener? Well, this is my main office. The place I forbid you to come inside. Hmm? There's a reason I brought you here. Don't worry, it's not bad. You can sit down if you want. It won't take long. Here we are. Care to guess what's in it? <laughs> A long time ago, my name wasn't really Aloise Trancy. I was nothing but a bloody orphan, living on his own, hated by the village, treated me like I'm some kind of animalistic beast. But there was one person that stood beside me, and that was my little brother. He made this for me before he passed away, this blue bell crown is a reminder that I'm still not alone. His memories remain with me. After his passing, I was so to hear. Being beaten, used. I wish to get out or have a better life. Now, if you believed I killed someone to live here, well, I attempt to seduce the old earl. And soon, I made a deal with my butler, Claude. He's like your butler as well. So, I filed the name as the Trancy's lost son, and here I am. Living the high life, and choose this happiness. But, it's not enough for me. There's a reason why I brought you here, lady listener. Is to confess my strong love for you. Listener Phantom Hive. What is he? I'm in love with you. No. But I don't want to push this on you. So I decided. To let you go. Yes. I'm letting you free. I feel like you hate me because I kept you here. I've been thinking about it ever since I laid my eyes on you. And you seem to hide your feelings from me. It could be just me. All I ever wanted is to be happy again. And you became that happiness. However, I was wrong. I couldn't push happiness on others. So the right thing for me to do is care about your happiness. That's why I'm setting you free. Back to your brother. <laughs> You're welcome. So he's finally given up. I can't believe it. What are you doing here, young lady? Or shall I say, young phantom hive? <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> My apologies, Sir Phantom High, but I believe you won't get your sister back. Because her soul is mine. <laughs> Pardon me, my lady, but I must check on my young mistress. Oh, fine. How come to? I don't know any of these twats. <sighs> come on. Oh, adventure with me and my Bassie! This feels spicy. Growl, this isn't the time. <laughs> what have you done with my... Oh, nothing, Sebastian Michaelis. Your young mistress is just tired. I can take her somewhere to never get your sweet mistress. Lady listener. <laughs> so you think you can have my young lady's soul? Well, what, what a bother. Because she made a deal with me as well. With her brother. My job is to watch over them. And you think you can steal her away from her butler? Not until I get a taste of her. Oh, rivalry! I'm living for it! Grrrl. You two weren't invited. So I suggest you to leave immediately and tell Oak Trancy about all this. Grrrl. I need you to take my young mistress to the carriage. Watch over him. All right, darling. I'm going to have to deal with Claude to myself. Care that we dance? I'd be honored, Sebastian. P pardon? My true identity. It's Jim. Jim Markin. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I won't forget about you, listener. Maybe one day we can meet again. Only if you're interested. Alright then. You can go now. You're free, my lady. <laughs> Listen, darling, come with me, yes. This is our chance to bring you back. Come along in the carriage with your little brother. Oh? Sadly, I have to miss Bassie's sexy fighting. But I only did it for him. Anyways, get in, get in. Sit beside him. I'll go ask Tanaka to ride you back to your manor. Oh, don't worry about me, darling. I'm a reaper, remember? Oh... <gasps> Did you just call me mother? Oh, I'm fine, darling. I'm fine. Tanaka, I brought her. Go ahead, go back to the Phantom Hive Manor. <laughs> oh, I love that child. Call me mother. I must have a bassie. Young master, the guests are waiting for you. Mm. Is something the matter? Mm. Where's Lady Lissa? She's gone, okay? I let her go! <sighs> you love her, don't you? <laughs> Don't worry, Master. I bet she feels the same way. How would you know? Because she told me so. What? Uh, what with all that racket going on downstairs? 
Master, let me check it out for you. You need some space. <sighs> Whatever. Just make sure no one gets hurt. <laughs> yes. I was the one who had it all I was the master of my fate I never needed anybody in my life I've learned the truth to wait I'll never shake away the pain I close my eyes, but she's still there I let her steal into my melancholy heart It's more than I could bear Now I know she'll never leave me Even as she runs away she will still torment me, calm me, hurt me, move me, come what may. Wasting in my lonely tower, waiting by an open door. How for myself she'll walk right in. And be with me forevermore. I range against the trials of love. I curse the fading of the light. Though she's already flown so far beyond my reach, she's never out of sight. Now I know. She'll never leave me Even as she fades from you She would still inspire me Be a part of everything I do Wasting in my lonely tower Waiting by an open door <sighs> How for myself she'll walk right in And as the long, long nights begin I'll think of all that might have been Waiting here for it So long, listener.